Hello guys, this is your friend The Great Lobbyist and I'm back again with another amazing tech video. Uh, we've, been, we've been talking about various products like mobiles and uh, projectors and uh, this is the one which is a networking product from TP-Link. It's a gaming router AX11000R as they call it, Archer AX11000. Uh, it's an AX series router, which makes it a very powerful machine. Now, uh, as we all know uh, today, you know, the, it, we, we are in the uh, generation of Wi-Fi 6 coming up and TP-Link has been one of the leading players in the space, uh, uh, I, I must say. And uh, AX series is a Wi-Fi 6 enabled router and it is a serious consideration if you're look, looking for an upgrade. Let's start with looking at what's on the box. Uh, we've got AX11000, a tri-band gaming router, and some of the features it highlights, which we uh, discuss in brief uh, during the video. It's got a game accelerator, a game dashboard, uh, a 10 Gbps ultra Wi-Fi speeds at one point. It, it packs a 1.8 gigahertz quad-core CPU and at 2.5 gigahertz uh, uh, gbps uh, wan port as well amazing stuff uh, this is a, an absolutely uh, from the box of it it is a very powerful router though it looks quite bulky uh, on the side we've got some key features uh, outlined right here and we've got the branding on the other side as you can see and then we've got how the router looks like it looks like amazing i must say and some screenshots of how the gaming port and everything looked like. You will see some of these uh, on um, uh, uh, as as screens later in the video, and it talks and talk about the product. And at the back, we've got some again some key specs and uh, some warranty and technical uh, specifications of the product. And we've got some more screenshots at the back, which talks about how, as compared to AC routers, AX routers perform better. As you can see here, AX11000 offers can go up to 10,750 Mbps speeds against AC5400, which is 5334. It almost doubles it up. And um, it's got four times greater capacity to link more devices, which means along, along with a gaming uh, setup, if you have one, uh, this not just that makes it a perfect uh, router to have it there, but also in a little bit of a corporate environment, it should work equally good with the speeds it offer. Uh, it comes packed with the secure, some security features uh, uh, and some great dashboards to uh, to adapt this router to your particular liking. Let's get straight on to looking at what's inside the box. We have the TP-Link AX11000. We've got some user manual and some warranty information and user information uh, right here. We've got the power cable right here. And we have the router. Let's take it out, take everything out one by one and then start setting it up. All right, guys, uh, this is the TP-Link AX11000 uh, super-powered uh, gaming router from TP-Link. Uh, it it, 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 it has a 2.4 gigahertz connectivity, which can give you up to 1148 megapixels per second speed. Um, and it's got five, two 500, uh, five gigahertz ga uh, bands as well, which give you uh, 4,804 uh, megapixels per second speed. Uh, let's look at what's outside the router. We've got a USB-C port here and USB 3.0 port here to connect some external input devices right here. On the other side, we've got eight LAN ports, one 2.5 gigahertz WAN port, a reset button, a power button, and an on-off toggle switch. Um, on the other side, we've got nothing, and then we have some toggles here, some buttons here to adjust the, um, uh, the, the brightness of the display and turn on and off the Wi-Fi signals and switch the Wi-Fi signals between uh, uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as well. Uh, at the back, we've got some basic information, the barcode and everything. Uh, and from the first look of it, quite a huge piece, I must say. I don't know if it really fits into a small home environment or uh, if, if you have a small desk space, but the kind of power pack and depends on how, what kind of passion you're working with, 
it does look amazing from the gaming perspective it has some antennas which come alongside which you need to plug in let's go straight on to plugging those antennas in and see have a look and feel of how the whole looks like whole feel look and feel looks like um, as you would see we've got a small little screw button here um, and it's bright red and black in color and all you have to do is just press it in and you can do all of these we have it guys um, a Tukilin KX7000 with eight monster antennas uh, looks beautiful uh, I think from uh, uh, from a gamer's perspective it gives you that red and bright red color to you know as a, as, a, as, a, as an inspiration as a beautiful look and feel from a gaming perspective um, it the antennas can just be pushed in at all, all these eight one of them and all you have to do is just literally pull them out to remove them apart from that it's fairly easy to set up all you need to do literally is push them in and you got your router ready for me um, uh, how i feel it's it's quite big in size very bulky very very bulky um, the antennas cannot be folded which means you when, you when you're setting it up you need to have that kind of a space either ground up or uh, against the wall to have space for these antennas so literally not really advisable to put them behind your surface or something which uh, or, or even a table under the table which is which has got a wall you know front covered uh, table so it, you need to find the right place to uh, put it in but once you've done it you've got some amazing features that come packed in it and um, just to recap again 2.4 gigahertz band which can deliver up to 1148 mbps speed and 2 5 gigahertz band uh, which deliver up to four, uh, uh, 4804 uh, Mbps speed um, and 8 gigabit uh, eight gigabit ports, LAN ports uh, with uh, and plus one 2.5 gigahertz code, uh, port with USB 3 and um, uh, USB C type connectors uh, for the inputs as well. Uh, one, one, one of the things uh, again is it packs a lot of power uh, not just from the network but, but from the information perspective with its uh, 1.8 gigahertz uh, quad core CPU and it also has 1 GB of RAM storage to save certain features and specifications or games that you uh, or the gaming uh, uh, specifications that you want to save it on it's a great router uh, the web interface is faster uh, when, you, when you try to set it up you'll see some screenshots on there uh, do it uh, to do it it's got uh, one of the one of the things which is which makes it slightly different is uh, is what you don't normally see in other routers is a link aggression across two port uh, which but uh, you know which, which like technically doubles uh, the available bandwidth uh, to the devices for multiple users. Um, it has standard safety features uh, of parental control and antivirus, which comes in between from Trend Micro um, and, and QoS features as well, which uh, makes it quite secure and configure the spec security specifications to your liking and keep your network and your environment, gaming environment quite safe uh, one of the things which you'll notice within the main dashboard is that you can assign device to a port which makes it very very interesting for some serious gamers so if you are playing in a networking environment as online gaming specifically and you can assign that 2.5 uh, you know gbps port to your gaming device you will have all the power that you need uh, plus on top of that of course wi-fi wi 6 uh, promises a great multi-gig wi-fi environment which is companies you know the networking companies are starting to integrate but tp-link as he said is always taking the lead in the space and does some amazing work there now here we have uh, tp-link ax11000 an amazing looking router you will see some screenshots uh, uh, you know of of the web interface and the mobile uh, application to configure it fairly easy to set up uh, customizations to your liking are fairly easy uh, for everyone to understand um, you know uh, when we tested the basic speed of it uh, 
it does increase the speed potential by easy 30 to 40 percent um, uh, if not to the 100 percent speed that they promise but again it depends on uh, each each network environment is different from the other so what you set it up as and in which environment will define what kind of speeds you'll get apart from that tp link x11000 is an amazing router for perfectly per, uh, uh, perfect for serious gamers a uh, little bit bigger in size uh, uh, against my liking but apart from that a very rugged a very strong and yet a very beautiful looking piece uh, well this is what we have from a tp link x11000 today and before i sign off i want to say again we have you have a chance to win some amazing prizes uh, in terms of networking products mobile phones uh, and other gadgets all you have to do is uh, follow us on instagram like our facebook page and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and another important thing is you have to like share and comment on this particular post and you have a chance to win those amazing prizes which i will be announcing in the next three to four weeks time so in the meantime keep it clicking keep it moving and keep safe peace